Hey guys, it's me, Macy, and just kind of ignore the shirt I'm wearing right now, but today I am doing a kind of like a no edit video for you guys, um, because I just really want to get a video up, and so today is going to be a new video for me, I've never done this before, it is a what is in my birch box and Etsy, and I'm not going to open them on camera, I've already opened them, because me and my mom open them together, and I don't think she'll want to do it like on camera, so... I'm just going to show you what's in them, and hopefully I will do one of these every month, because I feel like it will help me, like, get a video up every month, at least, because recently I haven't posted a video in so long, and I'm very sorry about that, but I just really hope you like this video, and this is for my birch boxes for the month of May, and I got these, um, a couple weeks ago, so, yeah, we're gonna start with birch box first, and I really... I liked Ipsy this month. Um, Birchbox was okay. This is kind of what the box design was. This is the lid. The bottom is just a solid like, blue color. But yeah, we're going to first start off. This is the Cola Sport Sunscreen Fresh Mango Moisturizer. It is SPF 50. I don't know if you can see that. Focus on me. Not me, but yeah, that's what it looks like. And it's just, a, it's, this is like comparison to my hand, um, but it's a decent size for a moisturizer for your face, not really for your whole body. Um, I'm assuming it's just for your face, but I don't really know. So yeah, that's the first thing I got. And then this next thing is from Oblifica. I do not know how to say that. It is a Seaberry Hair Serum. And it nourishes, repairs, and protects your hair. So that's the brand. So yeah, I don't, I have no clue how to say that. So this, I'm kind of excited to use this and see if like what it does and stuff. You know, this next thing, when I first looked at it, I was like, oh, this is gonna be like some cool eyeshadow thing, but it's not. Because it was like this gold color and it's like really cute. But, you know. It is from The Body Shop and it's called Oils of Life. And it intensively re... Revitalizing? I don't know. Facial oil. It's a facial oil. Sorry, half of this video is like going to try to be me getting this to focus. But yeah, you get the deal. It's a uh, facial oil, and it's like a little dropper kind of thing. So yeah, you just drop it. It kind of just smells like oil. It doesn't really have like a scent to it. The second to last thing, it is this is a decent sized product. It is a coconut crush scrub, and I'm really excited to try and use this. Um, so it's gonna like. Um, I don't know, it's just, I dropped a little bit of my oil, oh, it's about there, um, yeah, this is a really nice size, um, of a product, and I guess they'll probably give you a big one, because it's for your body, I think, polishes your skin to perfection, and say, hell yes to hydration, this brown sugar scrub is infused with small pieces of Tahitian coconut shell and to buff the dry stuff right off your bod. So it says, squeeze out some scrub and rub a dub dub all over your bod. For some, for best results, apply to dry skin and rinse. So, yeah, I'm kind of excited to try this out and see if it wipes away my dry skin. The last thing in here is the. Ico Skinny Mini Liquid Eyeliner in Black, and it is a marker, and if you ever watch um, 11th Gorgeous, they say, like, it's a repeat offender, and this is a repeat offender, kind of, because I have that exact same thing, but it's the fat one, and this is the skinny one, so. This is a comparison to what they look like. This is the one, this one I got this month, and then this one I got a while ago. Birchbox. I use this one for dance all the time, and I was going to use this for my recital, but it was downstairs, and I didn't want to go downstairs and get it. So, 
yeah, there's that, and I'm kind of disappointed because I would like something new other than, like, kind of, like, the exact same thing, so, you know, whatever, you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, and by the way, if you didn't know, Birchbox and Ipsy are both $10 a month, and they are subscription services, so you go online and you take, like, a test kind of thing, it's not like a test, but, like, you just pick out kind of what you like to what you would like to receive, and then every month a new one comes in your mail, and it is $10 a month, and you get a bunch of, like, either, like, mini samples, or, like, sometimes you get full-size products and stuff like that, so... Yeah, you should definitely check it out because I love it. It's really nice when you, like, see that pink bag, like, because Ipsy comes in, like, a pink bag outside of this bag. Plus, Ipsy, um, it, ha it you get a makeup bag every month, so I have, like, a bunch of just Ipsy makeup bags, like, just different kinds. These are all of my Ipsy bags. It's intense. And I have... I guess I'll just put that. Yeah, I have so many Ipsy bags. And... Yeah, they're great for traveling. So, yeah. And this month's bag is so cute. It has a bunch of, like, locations on here. Like, Big Ben, the um, Eiffel Tower, Statue of Liberty. And, like, just a bunch of other things from a bunch of other countries. And I think it's really cool. So, yeah. Plus... Normally, like, they zip, like, either they zip like this or they just zip at the top like this. And, but this one's, like, a button, and I think it's really cute. And so, yeah, let's just get into it. So, the first thing is this, a piece, I don't know what the brand is, hydrating mask. And my mom will probably keep this. As well as, like, the oil in here. Because my mom keeps, like, all of, like, the oils and, like, like, you know, because, like, all the, like, maybe, like, the wrinkle stuff or whatever that kind of stuff is. Because I don't need any of that stuff. So, my mom, like, takes masks and, like, those different kinds of stuff. And so, yeah, I'll be, we'll be giving this to her. That's, and it's a pretty decent size as well. Um, this next thing is a Pacifica eyeshadow trio, and, like, some of the brands, like, we get a lot of Pacifica, as well as, like, some Pixie by Petra. Like, this is one of the things I've got in here. We get, like, those brands quite often. Um, actually, I've only gotten one other Pacifica product, and was this eyeshadow. Um, but this is in Skinny Dip, Crush, and Lovely. And so I'm just going to swatch them for you. So that is what they look like. I don't know which one is which. Um, I'm guessing this one might be Lovely. Lovely. Um, skinny Dip and maybe Crush. I don't really know. Because it just says the color names. It doesn't, like, match them up with the actual color. So, yeah. Um, they're pretty shimmery. And they're really pretty. So, I'm excited to try them out. And they seem pretty smooth. Like a nice formula. So, excited about that. The next thing is a Bella Pierre Cosmetics Gel Lip Liner. And I broke this when I got it. And... I'm really mad because it was it was kind of a pretty color and it doesn't like sharpen and like it doesn't like self sharpen like it doesn't twist at the bottom and I broke the tip off and it was funny because 11th Gorgeous's when they they got this um Tracy's um tip fell off as well by the way you should definitely go check out 11th Gorgeous channel and watch their videos because I love their channel so yeah I got this, and it is in the color, I don't know if it has a color, nude, maybe, number, I think it's nude, I don't really know, it says nude right there, so yeah, that's that, and I was really sad, because I broke it, like, when I was trying to open it, 
The next thing is the Smashbox X Rated Mascara Volumator. And I'm really excited when we get mascaras because they usually become one of my favorites. Last month we got this Their Real Tinted Primer, which I use all the time with my Their Real Mascara. And then we've also gotten the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara, um, which I use every once in a while. Ooh. Talk about Full Exposure. So, um, that made no sense. Whatever. So yeah, I'm really excited to try this one out, and I'm not a big fan of the brush. As you can see, it's like, I can't really tell, but it's like, there's three lines, and there's like a space in between, I don't know, and it looks like it's going to be kind of clumpy, so, I don't know how this is going to work out, but it's kind of like, um, I have a other mascara, here it is, and when you open, when you open it, it looks like it's going to be like really, really clumpy, but it's not that clumpy, unless you like put on like 50 layers of it. So yeah, I'll have to check this one out and let you guys know about that. I'm sorry about the bad lighting right now. And last but not least is a brush, and it is from Vera Mona. Whatever, it's Vera, like Vera Bradley, like Vera, and then Mona, M-O-N-A. And I think I've gotten this kind of brush before, like this brand of brush before, I don't really know. Um, I really like getting brushes from Ipsy. I've gotten one, this is the one, and I really like it. And then I found an Ipsy bag today when I was cleaning my room, and it had this brush in it, and it was from the same brand as the other one, Luxie. So yeah, this is just a flat shader brush. It's kind of like the El the Elf brush, if you know what I mean. If you've ever seen that brush, but yeah. I'm really excited to use this for my eyeshadow. I don't know. Honestly, I don't really like really short flat shader brushes like this. I like um big ones like this. So, yeah. I don't know. I'll have to see if I like this one or not. But, yeah. That is all for this video today. I'm sorry if it was kind of like some parts where I was kind of like doing nothing, like trying to get it to focus, but I just really don't want to edit it right now. And if I want to edit it, I do it on iMovie, and that takes up so much more storage than just filming it on my regular camera and uploading it to my computer and then putting it on YouTube for you guys. So, yeah, I really, um, I really hope you guys like this video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe down below if you want to. Um, if you've never seen me before, or if you have and you just haven't subscribed yet, definitely just subscribe down below. And I really wanted to get to 90 subscribers. And we're at 80 right now. The last time I checked, I was at like 80 or 81. And that is really exciting because we're really close to 100 subscribers. And once we get there, that would be amazing. But just let's get to 90 first. So, yeah. I hope you guys had had or have a wonderful day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.